I'm Mark Boom. I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer of Houston Methodist. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to this very special day as we inaugurate here the Center for Neural Systems Restoration, which is a wonderful collaboration between Houston Methodist and Rice University. Today, in addition to formally opening the center, we're celebrating Rice's relationship with Houston Methodist in a space where clinicians meet engineers. We celebrate the collaborative work that has begun to facilitate the translation of fundamental engineering technologies to improve brain health and therefore human health and well-being. The work that will be done in this center aims to offer hope to tens of millions of people who suffer from brain diseases, mental health disorders, and spinal injuries. The brain is extremely complex. And the brain is composed of brain cells called neurons, and there are hundreds of billions of, of neurons in the brain. And these neurons are interconnected through trillions of connections. Understanding this complexity in the brain in general is an extremely difficult task. And I would say it's one of the last challenges, last frontiers for mankind. We enter in a phase now where we, we will have a significant neuro restoration program with engineering. And you can see the future when you're going to combine that component with a stem cell regeneration, we can really start improving the brain. By combining neuromodulation and robotic devices in a hybrid system, we can augment the patient's own capabilities, restoring motor coordination and independence. We are doing spinal neuromodulation, it's spinal stimulation, invasive, non-invasive of the spinal cord, and we are trying to improve the function of upper limbs and lower limbs and uh, paraplegics and tetraplegics. We are working on technologies to reach out to a patient pre-acute phase of a stroke and see if we can revive the neurons that were damaged. We are also working on trying to measure our glymphatic flow. The glymphatic flow is responsible for the health of our brain. The higher the glymphatic flow, the better our neurological system works. What we are interested in is measuring the flow. And if the flow is low, try to modulate the brain to improve the flow. That could be preventing Alzheimer's, as, as an example, and many other disorders like that. We are very excited about that project as well. And there's one last project I'm going to talk about because I'm so excited about, and that is trying to understand traumatic brain injury. Engineers need doctors, and doctors need engineers. And that only together can we solve the hardest challenges in human health. And with the largest medical center in the world and an elite technical university on virtually the same campus, the combined resources of our new center exceeds virtually any that exists in the world. Therefore, never has our opportunity been greater. We've come such a long way, we have a long way to go, and it's a center like this that's gonna get it done.